Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another weekly grocery haul and meal plan video. Um, I'm sitting outside of Food Lion right now. I'm about to go in and grab our weekly groceries, but I wanted to have a little chat with you guys first as the title of this video says. Um, I, yeah, I wanted to fill you guys in on some things that are going to be happening or changes that are, I am making in my life, I guess, things that are happening. So, um, I want to preface this by saying that if you are somebody who does not agree with um, plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery, um, then you can just like skip ahead um, to the grocery haul if you're still interested in watching it. I um, I feel like everybody should be able to do what they want to do in life and um, yeah, that's just my little disclaimer here. That's what we're going to be talking about. So if you don't like that, then skip ahead, watch a different video, whatever. So, um, long story short, I am having a mommy makeover. Um, that is something that I have been wanting to do pretty much since I had Bryson, um, who is my oldest. He is 11. I have been wanting to have surgery done. I have a lot of hanging skin on my stomach. Um, that has been there since I had Bryson and then it's gotten worse every time I've had a baby. So, I'm having it fixed. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Um, I actually scheduled my appointment back in February and then the physician or the doctor that I scheduled with um, retired. <laughs> and I picked him because he had done some other surgeries on my mom and my sister and two of my sisters. He had done some stuff on so I like really wanted him to do it but he retired and then I took a while to sort of research the new doctor that was going to be taking his spot in his practice and all of that so I have an appointment on Tuesday for a consult today is Sunday the 27th of March so my appointment's the 29th um so long story short why I'm telling you all this is because I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this process I um hope to actually take you with me to the consult and get some footage of that like kind of just you know record it and the session of him answering questions for me and stuff like that and then I also want to do a Q&A so if you could leave questions down below if you have any I've done a ton of research um I have connected with Brittany from Brittany's Beautiful Chaos she had a mommy makeover she has an excellent playlist of of everything her recovery her pre-op stuff everything um so definitely check that out if you are interested in some more information like right this second however i'm going to do a whole series on the channel um so my plan right now is to do a tummy tuck and then a reduction um of my breasts so my stomach like i said i have hanging skin and then i have a lot of trouble like finding pants that fit it's just so uncomfortable and even um like different weights that I've been at I still have like the skin just will not go away it needs cut off essentially to be gone so my neighbor had a tummy tuck done recently and like I followed her recovery and she's about the same like body type as I am so I thought that was very helpful um Brittany and I, I think have pretty similar body types so um, although she's like banging right now because she's been going to the gym and had this surgery and I'm just like, oh, that's me. I aspire. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to update you guys on. I know I've been more just sort of basic about my videos and like, here's a grocery haul. Here's a Sam's Cup haul. Here's to the point and not as much like personal. And that's because I was really had a lot on my mind weighing this decision and I wanted to bring it to you guys when I was sure that that's what I was going to do and I was confident in my decision and all of that. So I think I'm finally there. Um, so stay tuned, I think it's gonna be fun. My hope is to have the surgery in April. Um, from what I understand, this doctor and this practice, you pay, they'll schedule you. So um, they have a few different doctors filling in for the one that retired. So I think they have a lot more availability right now. Um, and I got my consult when I called back to schedule, reschedule the consult. I got in within like three days. So I think I'm hopeful I can have it done in April and be kind of recovered by our vacation in June. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for all of the tummy tuck, plastic surgery, mommy makeover things. 
leave me any questions down below. I'll be frank with you guys. I will tell you anything you want to know. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what I wanted to, you know, touch base with you guys on. I hope to get that first video of my console up later this week after, you know, Tuesday when I edit it and all of that. So stay on the lookout for that. Let's go ahead and do the grocery haul. I'm going to go in a grocery shop and then I will show you guys the haul when I get home, of course. Um, I don't have a plan going into this grocery haul. Um, so let's see what I end up with. Let's get going. Thanks for listening to my ramble let's get going. Okay, so I'm back from Food Lion. I spent $140 for our family of five for this week. Um, and I did sort of just make a note in Food Lion and like plan out meals. Piper's trying to hit the, the tripod and like plan out meals really quickly. So we are going to be having tacos, homemade pizza, which we're actually going to have tonight because um, the Carolina Tar Heels play in the, I think it's the Elite Eight. I think they play at five. So we're gonna have homemade pizza tonight tacos, chicken stir fry, taco salads. I'm doing really good, not taco salads, chicken salads. I'm doing really good at remembering this week. Um, and then the fifth one is um, chicken sandwiches and fries, Piper, which we are actually going to be having Wednesday night because we need a quick meal. And then there is one night this week, Bryson's actually going to Raleigh on his fifth grade field trip. Um, and he'll be gone like until like eight o'clock at night. So we'll probably take the girls out for a fun like little dinner that night. So I didn't plan one for that night. Oh, I guess I did because I planned breakfast as well or I rolled it over from last week. So we will have that maybe next Saturday night. That's six meals for the week. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you what I got. I got some different stuff this week um, that I saw that was just on sale. Um, so I'll show you that as well. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started on our weekly grocery haul. Again, I spent $140 for our family of five. Let's get into it. Okay, so we will start over here on this side. I have most of the produce laying out right here. So I got a head of lettuce for tacos, um, green peppers for taco night and salads, and then an onion, and then there is a cucumber as well for the night that we have um, the chicken salads. I got some of these cotton candy grapes. I love these so much. They are definitely more expensive. I think they're like $4.50 for this little one pound container, um, but they are my favorite grapes. So I got some of those for me and the kids this week. And then I also went ahead and grabbed um, some sliced green apples. Um, Finley loves apples and I thought this would be a good idea for just like throwing in the car or going in the car with or whatever. Um, so I grabbed those cause they're already pre-sliced and pre-bagged. I think you get five bags six bags and they were like $3 for six packs. So really not bad. Um, I grabbed a thing of strawberries and then I have a head of, or not a head of lettuce, but a thing of the Bright Farm spring mix lettuce um, to have the chicken salads with. And then the only other produce, I believe there is a bag of mandarin oranges right here. Those were on sale this week for $3.49. I did go to the store Friday night and I got a thing of blueberries and a big thing of strawberries. So we still have some blueberries left and I got a bunch of bananas and there's like five or six bananas over there still. So, um, that sort of rounds out the fruit. Now I got this thing of ground beef and Finley dug her hand into it when I was unloading it. So I need to take this out and put it in something else, but she just kind of like poked it. Um, so yeah, this ground beef is for the night that we have tacos I got some of these shredded pizza pizza blend cheese for homemade pizzas tonight. Um, a thing of the fast food potato fries. These were actually the only fries that they had on the shelf. Literally the only bag. Um, so I'm glad I got it before somebody else took it. Um, but usually I don't like the thin ones. But this is for the night that we have the chicken sandwiches. Because um, Chris has a meeting that night. And Kylie has soccer practice. Because she started soccer this week. So we need something quick for that night. I got some pepperoni for either the homemade pizzas or for Finley to just snack on. She loves having that. The John Soul's chicken, if you've been here before, you guys know that Bryson loves this stuff. Um, he eats it plain, but then he, we will also use it on homemade pizzas tonight. I got a thing of Kylie's Hawaiian Punch, a thing of milk for the regular, um, for the regular kids, for Finn, Bryson and Kylie, and then the A2 milk for Finley. I have a lot of extra sleeve on the sweatshirt. I'm just realizing it um, in the viewfinder, but... Okay, moving over here, I got some of the just dark roast coffee. I needed this before. I need to order some off Sands Club, but we needed some like for this week. So I grabbed a little 12 pack of it. Bryson loves these balance break, the Triscuit and cheese ones. So I grabbed a three pack of those for him. 
Um, I, for some reason, just wanted some cheese crackers. You guys know that we can't eat peanut butter, but I thought these would be good to like just throw in the diaper bag for Finley or for me in the car or whatever, just as a little snack. So I grabbed the rich cheese ones. These are the only ones, where's the ingredients, um, that don't have, that don't say they contain peanut. Like the Lance ones say peanut, which I think is just like a, to cover their butt type of thing but I didn't want to risk it. So I got the Ritz brand. Um, these farmhouse sourdough rolls are for the chicken sandwiches. So I grabbed some frozen meals you're gonna see. They had a lot on sale and I thought they would be easy, quick lunches for me during the week. I don't have to think, I can just pop it in the microwave. So I grabbed like several different to try. I grabbed the Healthy Choice Simply Steamers Unwrapped Burrito Bowl, which I thought looked really good. Um, so it says it has black and pinto beans, fire roasted corn, pepper, scallions, rice, and spicy tomatillo sauce. So hopefully, oh, and look, they have healthy choice dressings now. I'm gonna have to try that out. Um, so hopefully this is good. I've had this one before. This is just the Linguazine four cheese pizza. Um, I did grab some Lindy's Italian ice. I thought this would be a good alternative for me and Chris for ice cream because we both have been on an ice cream kick lately and these have much less calories and much less sugar than like a whole pint of ice cream, obviously. So I grabbed that for a, like an ice cream type thing, but not ice cream. Okay, back to the um, frozen meals. I grabbed the chicken enchilada Souza. I've had this one as well before. These were on sale for two for five. And this is like one of my favorite, probably my favorite lean cuisine. So I grabbed two of those. This I've never tried before, but the smart ones were on sale for, I think they were $1.79, which is a pretty good deal, I thought. So this is the creamy rigatoni with broccoli and chicken, and it says it's in a Parmesan sauce. Um, so I'm going to give this a go. It says it's 260 calories and 16 grams of protein. So I grabbed two of those to try for quick lunches this week. And then I grabbed the last like frozen meals that I grabbed are these. These are all the same, all five of these. They are the Smart Ones Santa Fe Rice on Beans. So this is Chris's favorite frozen meal. So it's spicy beans, spicy rice and beans with zucchini, a zesty green chili and sour cream sauce topped with part skim milk mozzarella cheese. So um, he likes this one a lot. So he said to grab him three of them. And then I grabbed a couple more for me. To, I wanted to try one. I've never tried it. So I just went ahead and grabbed five. Um, I have some of my raspberry lemonade drink mix. You guys know that I love this and I did not have any at all. So I grabbed two of those. Now there are five pizza crusts. The other one is actually in a bag. It's over here. Um, it like busted open when she was like ringing it up and I was like, well, I'm going to use it tonight. So just leave it in that bag. That's fine. Um, but so there's five of them. Um, we are going to be, like I said, having homemade pizza tonight. And then I usually make some breadsticks with that as well. So that is what that is all for, as well as the pizza sauce and the traditional refried beans. Chris likes refried beans on his pizza instead of sauce. I know he's weird. I don't know what is up with him, but that's what he likes. So that's what I got. I don't think I said these two things back here. I got some Hershey syrup for chocolate milk. And then I wanted to try the cinnamon vanilla cream. Side note. I heard that Coffee Mate has a new sugar-free cinnamon roll. Let me know if you've tried it. I saw a tag for it at Food Lion, but they didn't have any of it. Let me know if you've tried it. I want to know what it tastes like. I'm definitely going to be giving it a shot whenever I see it, but um, for this time, I grabbed this one. And then back here, we just have some drinks. I've been loving the Ahas lately, so I grabbed the Raspberry Acai again. I grabbed one of these last week. I go through a, probably an eight-pack a week because I usually drink one a day. Bryson said he wanted some orange soda, so I grabbed him a 12-pack of that. And then Chris said he needed soda, so I grabbed him, like he said, get what was on sale. And Dr. Pepper was on sale. The last few things back here, I grabbed these buffalo chicken strips, the Food Lion brand. That is what we are going to use to top the salads with. So we're going to have, like, buffalo chicken salads. Um, so that is what that is for. And then, of course, the chicken patties for the night that we're having that quick meal. Um, I would not have bought the huge bag of them. This is the... 3.7 pound family pack. Um, but that was all they had. They didn't have the smaller bag. They had the smaller bags in the spicy, but I knew that both Finley and Kylie were not going to eat spicy chicken sandwiches. So, um, I grabbed the bigger one. So I guess this will probably be two meals for us, which is fine, but this was $12.99 for the bigger one. Um, so if they would have had the littler one, I definitely would have bought the littler one, but 
that is everything that I got this week. Again, I spent $140 at Food Lion. I don't think that was a bad deal um, considering that dang chicken was $13 of it. But um, I got a lot of lunches. I got seven dinners. I got all the produce for the week. So I think I did pretty good. But that is our grocery haul for the week. Again, stay tuned later in the week for the first installment of my mommy makeover journey or whatever after my consultation i will upload that later in the week thursday or friday probably but yeah stay on the lookout for that and i will see you guys in the next video i hope you have a fantastic week um happy april have a great day guys bye fire, i can be a fighter i can be a fighter